Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight the time has finally come. We are wrapping up the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This is episode six, One World, One People. And uh, aside from everything going on in the show, the Oak and I have a bet here as to what uh, he got from, uh, what Falcon got from Wakanda in the case. I think it's some new wings to go along with the suit. Oak here thinks it's just a suit, so I guess we'll find out. I think it is a special teched out Captain America suit. <laughs> uh, obviously, he's been training, he's strong, he's doing all kinds of crazy moves with the shield, but he still isn't a super soldier, so he's going to need a super suit. So there is an ice cold <laughs> bottle of Coke. I know that <laughs> seems like a little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a, a, a low stakes bet. <laughs> It's among friends. Surprise. So, uh, yeah, yeah uh, final episode of the season. It's been a lot of fun. I can't wait to Absolutely. see Absolutely. All right, guys. With that being said, let's, let's go. go. He's... He's not going along with this. Everyone is urged to stay clear. How'd they turn the lights red? <laughs> oh, so they don't know immediately what's going on in there. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, well, they could be anybody. Sergeant Barnes. Dang it. <laughs> I called in some backup. Excuse me, sir. Are you supposed to be here? It's me. Oh. Holy, holy hell. That's some Stark tech. I hear pardons aren't always are cracked up to be anyway. Depends on the therapist. They're gonna move on the building soon. Be ready. He got new wings, didn't he? God, I thought it was the suit. Do it now. Is this just gonna be knockout gas? <laughs> well, they don't have them locked in. Hmm. Oh, oh, we were both right. right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we suit both. and wings. Oh, we did talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Sharon, Bucky, what's going on on your end? But is it a super suit? I'm sorry, wait. Who are I'm you? Captain America. I thought Captain America was on. I'm Captain America. Way to go, Sam. You guys are going to have to do something. I don't think he's got any tech in the suit. Just wings. Oh. You don't think I ever fought for something bigger than myself? That's all I ever tried to do. And I fell twice. Ooh. Just loading, loading the fish into the barrel right now. Yeah, this is not good. Oh. God, it's so <laughs> cool that they brought in St. Pierre for this show. I'm glad you took my call. Yeah. Hostages in route. ETA, six minutes. Hostages. Uh, yep. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice job putting the tracker on him. Oh, it's not what that was. I thought it was. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh that's nasty. I thought it was just a tracker. Oh, no. You see his head? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, mercury vapor. Bucky! Jeez, this uh, doesn't even do anything to no. me. No. Oh. Nice. Oh, there we go. A little boost. Over to the rendezvous about eight to ten minutes out. I'm pretty sure that helicopter is not going to outmaneuver mm -hmm. Sam here. <laughs> we kill the hostages. We're supposed to use them to negotiate, to stop that vote. Either way, our message gets out to the world. She is all in. Mm -hmm. The movement is strong enough to continue without us. And she feels uh. like she's so far down the path she can't stop. Hold tight, move fast. One world. 
Yeah, she's not into it, and neither is he. Oh. One world. No, they're One all. People. One people. I don't buy it. I think all of them are like, nah. Nah, this isn't what we signed up for. Mm. Wow, what a save. Oh, that, oh, that was, was cool. cool. Yes, it was. Captain America <laughs> with wings. I told it's you. so cool. He needed to fly, man. He needed a suit. <laughs> well, he could use a, an Iron Man style suit right now. Some nanotech. Mm hmm. It's uh, not exactly the right sound for that motorcycle, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice move. <laughs> Oh, is that thing clamping the door shut? It must be. <gasps> oh, he's back. Let's finish this. I didn't mean to kill your friend. I don't think he cares. Oh, this is interesting. I, I'm surprised Bucky could just... Oh, he's got to take care of that thing first. There you go. Thank you for saving us. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they don't exactly have vibranium arms, do no. they? <laughs> the old superhero super landing. landing. <laughs> Gotta say, he's having more trouble with that helicopter than I thought he would. A little birdie told me you know how to fly a helicopter. Oh. Oh. That's oh, so no. not a concrete. Oh, there we yeah. go. All right. Boy, you just earned this ass whooping. <laughs> oh. Just like that. Nice. All right. Nice. It all works out. I want to see what's going to happen here. I mean, given everything that's happening, it's not so bad that he showed up, right? Yeah. He's just taking it, just walk, walking right at her like the Terminator. Yeah, he's not even worried about the thing on fire. He's no. just worried about her. Yep. Oh, he went for the uh, 86 shot there. We say 86 because uh, YouTube has certain restrictions for us. There's some folks in the comments asking. Oh, oh. eye beam. Is he gonna do it? Come on, is dude. He gonna, is he gonna come back? It's your time, chance. Yeah. All right, a little bit of a redemption there. A lot bit of a redemption. <laughs> Are you kidding? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, he's got two of those things? Yeah, it's a little kind of special. Yeah. That's the Black Falcon. Remember the joke from earlier? That's Captain America. The little kid. Oh, it's got oh, lasers. Oh, it's, it's way easier than smashing it with a, with a fist. Oh, that was badass. Who's that from now? Oh, it's St. Uh, Pierre. St. Pierre's back, giving him cover. Oh, he's got thermal. thermal. Yep. Man, how is this going to play out? 
Well, the people on the helicopter are all right. Mm -hmm. the trucks, they're, both they're, trucks are all right. Yep. Looks like they split up. There's some Wakanda tech working for them. And <laughs> escape the thermal. Nope. You think the other people don't know that's a signal when <laughs> yeah. you're underground? Whistle must be a bird in if here. If you're outside in the park, <laughs> that's it's a fine signal. David, is that you? Ooh. I'm not interested in power or an empire. Come back and work for me again. All of you, we can make a difference together. You just want me because you need your muscle back. Without us super soldiers, how much power does a power broker really have? More than you. So you're the power broker. Wait, what? what? That's... Carly, you know I'm always prepared. She's been it the power her all the along? whole time? I don't do blackmail. Oh. oh. Well, see you later, George. <sighs> Got hit. And he's going to think it was Carly. Carly, don't. <laughs> You might have to. <laughs> oh, the wings <laughs> came out. Look, guys, I think you're just going to have to take care of this Carly problem here. <laughs> the, your current method doesn't seem to be working. Thank you. Oh, we're going to get out of that. Yeah, you're, they're super soldiers, but that doesn't stop bullets. Great man. Great quote. Not when you say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me! Oh, well, the suit's got to be bulletproof. Right? I, I would hope there's some Kevlar in there. Yeah. So is she going to spill the beans that she's the power broker? Mm. Oh. I mean, I see what he was going for, but let's not gloss over the fact that Carly blew up a building with people in it. Well, and she was completely willing to sacrifice yes, everybody. Yes, everyone. When is the government making Captain America? What do we call you? Is it still about <laughs> Captain Falcon. <laughs> These are questions we all had. <laughs> The stairs, the judgment. And there's nothing I can do to change it. Yet I'm still here. No super serum. No blonde hair or blue eyes. No, that was just for Isaiah. Look, you people have just as much power as an insane god or a misguided teenager. The question you have to ask yourself is, how are you going to use it? Boy, Cap laying it down. Sharon? You left my light. Oblique shot. Oblique, oblique shot. <laughs> For what it's worth. The suit looks good on you. <laughs> I just didn't have any like, protection on the top of his head. No. I mean, it's a little curious. Yeah. I didn't forget my promise. All right, what's going to happen with Walker here? That's what I want to know. Uh, uh, are you just going to put a okay. bunch of super soldiers in here all together? One world. One people. Ah, uh, uh, somebody on the inside yet. Who's this guy? It's like one of Jeff Dunham's Muppets. <laughs> Four members of the radical group, the Flag Smashers, were killed today in a car bomb attack as they were being transferred to a high security prison. Post the global relocation efforts of the GRC, who just this- Wow, so they took them all out? Oh, that guy took them out. Must be working with Zemo, maybe? Okay. Or his crew? So they had people to help, but they got taken out. Looks like our friend Zemo. Mm-hmm. Wow. Couldn't have worked better if I planned it myself. <sighs> wow, I thought they were getting away. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. What is he doing in there? Probably the helmet. Walker! My God! Oh, is he going to have a new costume? For who he is now? Well, yeah, if the other guys Yeah. Can. Things are about to get weird. When they do, we're not going to need a Captain America. 
We're gonna need a U.S. agent. That's correct. Keep your phone on. Will do, Val. Don't call me that. Copy. <laughs> you have to help us out in the comments, folks. If that's a character from the comics or just something I've from never the show. heard of a, a U.S. agent black suited former Captain America, <laughs> but again, I'm not like a hardcore comics yeah. guy, so. Oh no, oh. he's gonna have to do it finally. It's late. Come in before someone call the cops. <laughs> I have to tell you something about your son. He was murdered. What? By the Winter Soldier. And that was me. Why? I didn't have a choice. Oh. Well, I mean, at least the guy's got closure. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not an easy thing to do, but he's got closure. That's everybody. Oh, well, is he going back into the uh, <laughs> talk to the girl? So he's thinking about it. Oh, Yuri's there. I think he just wants to know that he did what was right and yeah can we please get sam alone can we pull some strings i ain't gonna lie you're special i mean you ain't no malcolm or martin <laughs> black captain america huh damn right the fight you taking on ain't gonna be easy, Sam. <laughs> just picking up that pot plant. <laughs> is it the first time we've seen him just use yeah, his strength? It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he, what? did he get something for Isaiah? Yep. Isaiah, Isaiah Bradley. Bradley. Now they'll never forget what you did for this country. Okay, did the bank finally come through? We're going to get some levity here. Everybody pitched in. <laughs> Everybody pitched in and helped out. Do we get to hear the engine fire out? <laughs> Well, they got to take it out for its maiden voyage, right? Yeah. Captain America okay. and the, the Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Nice. There we go, folks. That looks like the end. I am going to I'm going to scrub through here a little bit. See if we have any post credits here. I'd like to offer you and your family our sincerest apologies. We begin to repay some of the debt that is owed to you. Thank you, Senator. I've been waiting to hear those words for a long time. There may be an opening in your old division. Is that something you'd be interested in? It would be my honor. Welcome home, Agent Carter. Okay, I've heard of Agent Carter before. I have not. Uh, everybody in the comments is like, how come these guys aren't going nuts for this? <laughs> but she's also the power broker, and that smile right there tells me. He's up to something. Start lining up our buyers. She's got full access. We're about to have full access to government secrets, prototype weapons, you name it. Should be something for everyone. Oh, mm -hmm. She is sketchy. Oh, and dug in deep. Well, there we go. There was Captain America and the Winter Damn. Soldier. What a great finish that was. You know, the only... Uh, I guess the, the main thing that I kind of uh, was looking at is, you know, Sam was so optimistic about, you know, finding a way to try to bring Carly back and showing her that it wasn't the way. And like, look, I get that's what he that's what he's done throughout pretty much all the movies that we've worked with. He's worked with, you know, soldiers with PTSD and, and that sort of thing. So that's in his nature. So, you know, I totally get it. But I, there wasn't for one second 
during this whole series that I thought Carly was coming back from anything she was doing. She was 100% committed. And that's what, you know, Sam said at the end. He's like, look, what you're doing was able to motivate all these people to go up against, you know, the most powerful governments in the world and willing to, to put their lives on the line for it and do whatever it took. So, you know, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Like, we knew there was no coming back for Carly, but because of what... Uh, the governments were doing, you know, bureaucracy. Again, I go back to the DMV example, not being able to get help where it's needed, dragging their feet, that sort of thing. Um, you know, there was no way that there wouldn't be another version of Carly popping up and, and Sam basically said as much. So I really liked how we got so much more out of her characters in this series we learned so much more about sam and bucky and and you know sharon who's obviously the power broker we got to see more of uh, zemo who i know he's a bad guy but i really liked his character a lot i mean they oh, they always got to make the bad guys so charismatic you know but um you know overall this was really good we finally got to see isaiah have some closure there and you know maybe kind of help him heal some of the wounds that he might have so i just man this series really was a home run as, as far as I consider we had a ton of action we had a little bit of that buddy cop movie feel with uh with Sam and Bucky that was really fun and we got to really explore some of the characters from the Marvel universe that I thought was just outstanding yeah you know uh, I have said a couple of times and uh, you know be it in our intros or our wrap-ups about um, my hesitancy to watch the Marvel shows because of the fact that I've kind of always had this mindset um, I guess I'm not sure where it was rooted because uh, it's kind of just the way I was that, uh, you know, that, uh, that, that these Marvel stories deserve to be told on the big screen. And uh, for as much as I love the theater experience, which we really don't do anymore with the channel, um, so uh. a few here and there with, well, with my fiance that I, that I think we're not doing on the channel. But in any regard, that was always kind of my mindset. And I think, you know, watching, um, you know, we recently did WandaVision and, and now getting into Falcon or Captain America and the Winter Soldier, really starting to appreciate, as Mason Quinn had mentioned, the kind of character development that you get when you don't have to put something into a two hour or even a three hour uh, film. Um, so uh, we're, nobody's unaware that a lot gets left on the editing floor. That's why we have director's cuts, right. and extended versions, and you know special editions and, and things of that nature. But I really liked the story development that we were able to get here, uh, especially with two characters who you know, they didn't have their own movies per se, mm -hmm. um, and so we never really got to hear their full stories. Uh, so I, I, I liked that they talked about what happened with the blip yeah and everybody yep. coming back i mean we saw a little bit um in in some other things yep. but this it's was this stuff. really really talked about the dilemma that there would be mm -hmm. you know and it's you you really don't think about it right i mean it's a, it's kind of a storyline half the people are going to go um but you don't think about the logistics of it when people came back it's just oh everybody's yeah. hey back. we won all right, yeah, right. You know? <laughs> but you know the senator brought up a good point these people were gone for five years they came back somebody was living in their home should they be homeless uh there isn't really a right answer but you know nobody knew they were coming back so all of a sudden all the people who didn't have homes and things like that you know, had them, what are you just going to tell them? Okay, now go to a camp. I mean, it was, yeah. it's a very difficult situation and without getting overly political, because we don't do that on this channel at all. Um, I think there's a lot of situations that we face today that I think regardless of what side of the fence you're on or uh, where you are, we can agree that government can probably be doing more and probably more efficient. probably do it in a more efficient manner i don't think that's uh, i don't think that's right side left side in between whatever i think that's kind of a universal <laughs> feeling is that regardless of how you feel about whoever government could probably be doing a little bit more for the people so uh, i think that's uh, universally agreed upon and i think that's kind of what the show was trying to get across um uh overall as a series a good story good action um, uh, they left us, of course, with a big hit clip. Yeah. There. Now knowing that the power broker is now kind of infiltrated the U.S. government, knowing that our original Captain America is now just a super soldier in a black suit with yep. some stripes on it. U.S. agent. Um, U.S. agent. <laughs> yep. um, obviously, Captain America is now Sam, uh, which is interesting. They showed us he's between having his wings and his ability with the shield. 
uh, that he's, you know, he's got two little jets now yep. that have lasers and stuff. <laughs> so he's got a lot of really interesting, a lot of, uh, a lot of really interesting tech. I would still like to see that suit be more like, you know, nanotech, whether it be Iron Man yeah. or, or Even Spider-Man. if it doesn't give him any more strengths, I would like him to just be protected a little bit yeah, more. Because was... this whole series, when he's fighting the super soldiers, didn't you have the feeling like he's one punch away from being done? I mean, one right. punch to the head, I, I, concussion, look, I, it's over. I, I Look, and I get... <laughs> I get these are superhero I know, movies. It's so. Marvel. It's <laughs> fiction. But I do have issues with him having uh, just a mask and no head protection <laughs> whatsoever. I mean, you take all those safe. all those punches and stuff. You can deflect them with a the shoulder, but you take one to the side of the head. Eh, that's going to be problematic. Uh, I had mentioned in an earlier episode, just about Captain America in general. No, no job no, protection there. <laughs> but it's like it's like it's like the whole Batman thing. Like yeah. Batman's got all this stuff, and no. <laughs> No jaw protection. Uh, well. So uh, I'm curious to see if we get. To, I don't know if we have a second season. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, um, help us out in the yeah, comments let below. Three um, rumors, and, and maybe that's something that's coming. You know, and we we see that in in other shows. Like, oh, here is your newest suit. Yeah. So maybe this is like suit version 1.0. But he got it from Wakanda. So. Who knows? In any regard, um, I really liked all the characters. Um, it was an interesting way to end it, with not only Carly, um, you know, kind of uh, you, know, you know, saying farewell, but with the other super soldiers. Like they showed him being taken away in the van. You thought, oh, they got people on yep. the inside. That's the what's gonna. Van up. blew up, which yeah. confused me for about three seconds. Yeah, until and then they showed us our boy, yeah, uh, old Zemo. Zemo, yep, in the, sitting in the super max prison in the middle of the ocean, still um, pulling strings, still pulling strings. Mm-hmm. But uh, overall, a great show. I like that they gave Isaiah the memorial, or Isaac, Isaiah, Isaiah, yeah. Isaiah the the memorial that he deserved there. Um, I think that was an important part to throw in the ending. I did like that they showed him just picking up the plane. Yeah, just moving. Because that was like the question we had. Like, yeah. okay, he was a super soldier, but we never see anything out yeah, of him. And, and then they just <laughs> giant planter. Like, okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. So that was fun. But overall, a really good series. Um, I liked the action. I liked the storytelling. I liked the characters. And I just think yeah. that uh, I'm, you know. A part of me wishes, like, oh, I wish I would have saw this sooner, you yeah. know, and I wish I would have kind of just been more open to these series. But the fact that I wasn't, you know, kind of has now opened the door for these being first time watches for for myself here for the channel. So mm-hmm. all works out pretty well. Yeah, and I was glad we got to see Wyatt Russell channeling uh, his yes. inner Kurt Russell. I mean, for any of you who are maybe you know in your 30s or 40s. Man, Kurt Russell is just the man and has been since he was about eh, about this tall when he was working for Walt Disney and he's been acting ever since. And I tell you, Wyatt's mannerisms and things like that, it was like I was watching a young yeah, version of his very dad. Much feels you know, the like facial that. expressions. Like, how does that transcend like the genealogy or birth or I don't know what the Kurt word Russell's is. Kurt Russell's probably who we see on screen. That's probably who he just is. Yeah. And so it's just probably just up picks it up. But over the years. I really liked the addition of his character. It was very complex. And I want to know like where he's going to go now. He's working for uh, Julie Louise Dreyfus's character as, you know, somebody, I got the vibe. He's somebody they can call to go in and do the work when they don't want the Avengers involved or they don't want Captain America yeah, involved. Yeah, somebody's you know, got to get their hands a little bit yeah, dirty. Because I'm not sure if if they were kind of aiming us towards a full redemption story for Walker or if he's just working for somebody else. I mean, because look, at the end of the day, he took out, you know, you know, somebody from Carly's group and they were doing terrible things. They They took out his best friend. So, I mean, eh, eh, well, kind of what he did well, is a little bit well, justified, but in front of everybody, it was a bad look. I think Walker's his character is, is representative of the red tape that you have to have when it's Captain America. Like, right. now he can cut through. Squeaky clean image, you know, and uh, look, uh, I know some people who have, you know, um, you know, have, uh, have, have, have done their work in the military and as operators and stuff like that. And I'm not going to pretend like I have all these inside stories, but I know that there are <laughs> stories and, and things that have happened where it wasn't exactly on the books. Let's just, uh, let's just say that. Yeah. And so I feel like that's where, uh, I feel like that's where Walker's going to come in. Like, yeah. Hey, this job needs to get done. 
we're the people who go in and get it done. Uh, but uh, you know, you're not going to see any news stories about us for sure. Yeah. Not any that tell the whole story. Yeah, that's so. interesting. So, man, folks, I would love to read all of your comments and your reactions to this series. Any predictions or thoughts you have? Uh, we'll obviously probably check out if there's going to be another season after uh, we wrap up here. But either way, it was something I really enjoyed. And, Absolutely, me yeah. as well. All right. Well, folks, that's going to do it for us here. So for the Appleton Oak, I'm Mason Quinn. This has been Bad Medicine. That was Captain America and the Winter Soldier. We'll see you back here for whatever's next. <laughs>